Hello, Michael here with another Redshift tutorial. It's been a little while, but I had a question about uh, using Redshift color or color from Mesh uh, networks for Redshift. So that's what we're going to do today. So I've already created a Mesh network, as you can see. Um, so we're going to create a color node. Just add that in, and we'll go to the color node, which we already have. Change the color to be blue and we'll randomize the hue. You don't have to do this but I'm just doing that so it looks a bit more interesting. Then we're going to bring up the Hypershade Editor and we're going to go to Utility, what was it called? Use a Data Color. We want one of these nodes. So we're going to run the out from that into the diffuse color of our RS material which you will assign to your um, mesh, your mesh mesh. And then in user color, uh, user data color, you want to rename this attribute name to be color set. Color needs to be spelt the US way with a lower C, and set has to be with an uppercase C. So now when we render that, you'll see that we get the color data. And as you can see, you can on the fly update the color, so you can get all sorts of colors there. Uh, in your render. So it is just as simple as that. Um, so yeah, um, I'll be doing more Redshift tutorials. I've been using Redshift a lot recently. You'll be seeing some animation uh, of mine coming out soon. Um, you'll probably see it here on the channel. You may see it on my Instagram if you want a preview of that. So make sure you follow that below if you haven't already. Link in the description. You could also subscribe to see more Redshift tutorials if you haven't already. Um, and if you want to stay up to date even further, there is the Facebook page, link in the description also. That's it for now though, thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.